my wonderful little cabina. Wait till you see. This is $35 a night. I've got the place to myself pretty much. And this is my little porch. And this is where my monkeys are going to greet me in the morning up in the mountain. It's so cute. And you can see some other tents and that down there. And here there's a waterfall that you can go swimming. Nobody's here. I'm going to have the holding thing to myself. And here is my tent. There's two beds in here. And I guess the electricity goes out sometimes. So they gave me a lantern. And this is my closet. Okay. It's pretty dark. I don't know if you guys can see. But I haven't opened it yet. And this is my bathroom. Got a nice little shower. Pretty dark. Wow, this is a pretty nice size shower though. And uh, everything I need. There you have it. Okay, so this is the Rio Tico Resort, and evidently I was really good at lucky because um, their cell phone service and internet isn't working, hasn't been working. So it's a busy week, but I was able to get in because um, nobody can get in contact with them. My friend's Joe, at Joe's Coffee Shop got in contact. It's a cute little, there's little hammocks to swing in, read a book, and I think I could probably just stay right here for my whole trip and be pretty happy. And there's a swimming hole down here. And then over there, there's that bridge you can go across in the morning and see monkeys. Lots of monkeys across that bridge, evidently. And this is my swimming pool. There's a rope and a ladder. And that's where I'm going to go swimming. Oh my gosh, nobody is here. I would much rather be here than at the Ritz Carlton. I mean, it might be nice for a day, but I get to go swimming in this. There's a nice Dutch man owns this place. His name is Case. And he's got a cute little son here with him. I haven't met his wife. So this is where I'm going to be swimming with the monkeys. Swimming over, swinging over my head.